It's a new week here on Winning Bets, so let's look to kick it off on style and give you guys some winners. Hey, hey, what's happening, everyone? It's Jason, of course, with Winning Bets, giving you guys free sports picks every day. We're on Monday. Hope you guys are having a good start to your week. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. We had a good weekend here. We took our son to the pool for the first time. He loved it so much on Saturday, splashing and kicking and having all kinds of fun in the water. We went back on Sunday, so we got a little swimmer now on our hands. So it was fun to see him enjoy the water. Got some good sports action this weekend, soccer games and baseball. A lot of you guys are enjoying the NBA playoffs. Those have been good and exciting so far. So let's just go ahead and recap last week and then see where we fell. You guys can see we went 65 and 86 and down 9.26 units. Ah, I hate that number right there. And remember, we've got a lot of losses because we're just blindly betting those MLB dogs in the early part of the season. But overall, we still got money so far in 2022 at plus 47.65 units on the calendar year. Let's talk about some of those good wins from last week. How about Nerfies? 3-0 on Nerfies. Pushing the right buttons. Starting to get into the season. Starting to get more data. Starting to refine our bets and go 3-0 and there on Nerfies. Pitcher player props are really good to us. Casey Mize under his strikeout total. Brubaker over his strikeout total. Burns over his strikeout total. And Darvis under his outs recorded there in midweek. So really good work there on, on pitcher player props. We also did good on City and Liverpool last week. City midweek against Atletico on that clean sheet. That was a good winner. Liverpool midweek against Benfica. First half over 1.5 goals. Plus Both of those were a plus money cash there. And then on the weekend, City and Liverpool, both teams are scoring over 2.5, minus 111. Like, that's the part about that bet I don't get. Minus 111. When we just saw that game play out last weekend in the Premier League, run it back. The only thing different difference was it was an FA Cup. We knew what we were going to get. We just saw the game six days ago. Boy, easy winner right there. Both teams are scoring over 2.5. Newcastle and Leicester also cashed over 2.5 goals dramatically. And goal in the 94th minute there by Newcastle. Absolute ex excitement there to start off our Sunday with the cash. CJ McCollum, we came out of retirement there in basketball and did a player prop. Had a feeling McCollum would go off there in his play-in game, and that's exactly what he did, cashing over 25.5 points. And then the MLB dogs were profitable now for the second straight week. And, of course, since it's Monday, we'll break those down in a little bit more detail. How about some of those losses from last week? Connor McDavid. Ugh. We got cooled off by Connor McDavid. We did get a cash on Tuesday, pushing our record to 7-0, and but then we suffered a loss on Thursday and a loss on Saturday as well. Also on Saturday night, Buckland, there are the Calgary Flames. Knew they would destroy the Coyotes. Thought he would go over his shots on goal target in the process. They won the game 9-1, but he was unable to go over his shots on goal and gutter right there and uh, gutted that it was a two-unit play as well. Ah, that was the bad one right there. Large in part, though, we couldn't overcome last Monday going 0-5 in Monday. They were all baseball bets. We just came out with the absolute stinker, and we just couldn't quite overcome that. So that was tough right there. Astros threw up a stinker on Friday against Gonzalez, a guy that they had absolutely demolished over his career. Really great numbers. Talked about that on payoff pitch. It was a, a shocker we didn't cash that bet. We didn't cash player props in that game. We also didn't cash uh, team totals in that game. Just a bad one right there. Royals Tigers, my best bet on Thursday and Friday. That one didn't come through for us. Had a chance on Thursday. Never really had a chance on Friday. And then Villarreal Tottenham just didn't quite push the right buttons with Villarreal. We did do the free giveaway bet and was able to give away $125, but didn't work out for us. And then Tottenham on that money line against Brighton. Ugh. How are you losing against Brighton at home? You've been such a good run. And, you, and then you did that. I ah, hated that loss right there. That was bad. So again, down 9.26 units on the week. We had a nice little run there. We were six weeks profit. Now we've lost money on two straight weeks. It's time to get it back this week, guys. So let's start our Monday off right. We'll be off to on a good footing, and then we'll uh, sail through the week. No cash to give away on today's show. Connor McDavid did not get a goal on Saturday, and that was the free giveaway bet. So we'll, uh, we're still on attempt number six. We still got a few more attempts to go. We'll try and give away some money on tomorrow's show. Let's go ahead and talk about these MLB dogs and do a nice little breakdown here for you guys. You can see across the top, we've got the dates. Right below that is the individual record and unit loss on that given day. Of course, on the far left-hand side, you can see all the teams right there. And then what you're probably most interested in is all the way on the far right-hand side under total. That's the total wins, total losses, and profit. So you can see we've got 63 wins and 79 losses and plus 4.12 units on the season there. Just blindly betting these MLB dogs. I'm well aware this is a terrible return on your investment system. I mean, return on investment. We're putting 10, 15 units in play. We've been doing this now for 10 days and we've only made four units. Not a good return on the investment, 
But I like to have fun with my sports betting, and this provides me a lot of fun and excitement tracking these dogs each and every single day, so I'm going to keep on going. And then interesting note, you can see on the very bottom there, three teams have yet to be an underdog. I don't think Yankees and Dodgers is going to surprise anybody, but the Brewers are the other team that is yet to be an underdog so far in the season. And then a couple teams worth pointing out, the Rockies are 4-1 and one on, as, on the season as underdogs. The Reds are 2-7 and seven on the season as underdogs, so not very good work right there. But So that's how we are, 10 days so far to the MLB season. Again, I'm going to keep on doing this. I'm wondering who out there started doing this at the beginning of the season and is maybe still doing it, or maybe who has dropped off. Drop it a comment on this video and let me know your status if you were part of this in the beginning. And here are my dogs. I'm back in today. I'm back in the Twins, White Sox, Diamondbacks, Giants, Cubs, Pirates, Angels, Rockies, Orioles, Reds, and the Braves as well. So those are the 11 dogs we've got today, and hopefully we've got some bark in them. There are some soccer games. I was not interested in the two there in Sierra A, but I'm very much interested in this one in La Liga with Barcelona up, up against Cadiz. You've got second place Barcelona going up against 18th place Cadiz. Barcelona is just in high form. I mean, okay, so they lost last week out against uh, Frankfurt there in Europa League, but here in La Liga, they've got seven straight wins. They are doing really good. Big game though. Big, big, big game. Barcelona's fighting for the European places next season. Cadiz is only one point out of relegation, so just a massive game for them. The recent head-to-heads would suggest that this is not going to be all that easy for Barcelona. You've got one win and two draws in the recent head-to-heads, and that win is not for Barcelona. That is for Cadiz, so they've been having their way so far in this head-to-head. -head. I've got a different angle for this bet. I'm going to do under 9.5 corners at minus 125 over DraftKings, so do under 9.5 corners at minus 125 over DraftKings. Lots of good information here to suggest that we could go under 9.5 corners, so here's the data to go ahead and back that up. In the reverse leg, there were only nine corners. The most recent time that they played at Barcelona, you also got a cash staying under nine corners. Barcelona, if you want to look at, if you think, hey, they're going to beat Cadiz, right? They're 18th place, Barcelona's second, Barcelona's flying high. They should absolutely demolish Cadiz. Well, let's look at some recent games where Barcelona was at home against lower teams in the in La Liga and see how they fared in terms of corners. Well, they beat at home Asiuana 4-0 not too long ago. They only got six corners in that game. Against Bill Bow, recently at home, they beat them 4-0 as well, but they only got five corners. If you want to look at the most recent game against Frankfurt, they only got five corners against Frankfurt. If you want to look at Barcelona's home fixtures, there's a, there's a total of average of 8.79 corners. For Cadiz on the road, their fixtures average 8.93 corners on the season. And if you want to look at over 9.5 corners, that's only cashed in 36% of Barcelona home games. Over 9.5 corners is only cashed in 47% of Cadiz away game. So I love this bet. It's under 9.5 corners in Barcelona Cadiz, minus 125 over DraftKings. All right, so that's how I'm gonna do it today. Again, I mentioned there's other soccer games, but I'm not interested in them. Just couldn't quite find the right angle to help us put some money in our pocket. So the rest of my bets are in baseball. Come join me on the payoff pitch at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. We'll talk some baseball and give you guys some winners there on the payoff pitch. Otherwise, guys, enjoy your day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching till the end. I'm Jason Mattis. Any love you can show by giving me a like, a subscription, or a comment, or even just share this video is very much appreciated. And don't forget to turn on your notifications to increase your chances of locking in the same odds as I talked about today. And check out my other great videos in these corners.